the rapid metro although it is considered to be world's first fully privately financed metro but no it is not the metropolitan railway which started operations in 1863 in london was also privately financed anyways the video won't be a theoretical one i mean no hardcore informations like history etc etc will be given this video is going to be based on our personal experience of riding the rapid metro the construction of the rapid metro was entirely financed by ILNFS and DLF. Not a single rupee was given by its center or Haryana government. Later on, the DLF left the project due to financial crisis. And ILNFS independently constructed the metro. The motto was to bring easier modes of transportation to the DLF cyber city connecting the yellow line of Delhi metro. So a loop or ring line was planned which starts from Sikandarpur, encircles the entire cyber city and returns back to Sikandarpur, covering a distance of approximately 6 kilometers. A small elevated shunting yard consisting three tracks was also constructed to park trains at night near Molsari Avenue. Construction began in 2009 and the line was opened in 2013. Later on, a 6.6 kilometer extension was proposed from Sikandarpur to sector 5556 which was opened in March 2017. Now recently, after Alan Affairs faced bankruptcy, the Rapid Metro was handed over to Haryana government and now it is operated by Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. Being outsiders, we personally found out that it is the most unique metro railway in the entire NCR region. Not only NCR, but even in entire India. The maximum number of coaches the trains can have cannot exceed three. So you can imagine how small these trains are. Surprisingly, they maintain a constant speed of 70 kmph, flying over busy roads and crossings of Gurgaon. The stations of Rapid Metro are one of the best we have ever seen. With beautiful decorations and unique luminations, the Rapid Metro is one of its kind in India. And yeah, it is the only metro in the NCR to use third rail electrification. It is also the first metro in India to auction the naming rights of its stations. At phase 2 station, the up and the down tracks gets diverted to make the loop. Starting from Sikandarpur, the train passes through phase 2, Belvedere Towers, Gateway Towers, Molsari Avenue, phase 3 and then returns back to phase 2 station and then to Sikandarpur. We noted down that the trains of the rapid metro which were one of the best we have ever seen with minimum amount of oscillations even lesser than the other lines of Delhi metro, you can feel the comfort of a futuristic metro ride right there in NCR. The metro provides interchange facility with the yellow line metro at Sikandarpur. Since the tokens and the smart cards of Delhi Metro are accepted in the Rapid Metro, you can change trains without even checking out of the station. Although the Delhi Metro is ruled by Hyundai Rotem, BEML, Bombardier and CAF Metro trains, these sister metros, that is the one at Gurgaon and another at Noida, uses Chinese rigs. The Rapid Metro trains were manufactured by CRRC Zuzou and the Noida Metro trains were made by CRRC Nanjing. Although both are from China, but we found out that the rakes of Rapid Metro are better than those of Noida. Anyways, that varies from person to person. This video was based on our personal experience and you might not agree with us. So relax and enjoy our future videos. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications of our future videos. Like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.